Hello everybody, Dr. Carlo Oger. In this patient education video, we are going to see uh, the hypothetical case of a male patient in his 40s who presented with sore throat for the last 24 hours and then a sore and scratchy feeling like he was swallowing something in the back of his throat. This hypothetical patient um, was not having any fevers or chills, but there are a couple uh, of his children who have been sick with a sore throat during the days preceding the illness. As you see in the video, when you examine the throat, you can see a white something in one of the crypta or holes of the tonsils. This is a tonsil lith or a tonsillar stone. And as you'll find in the later part of the video, we're gonna talk about tonsil stone, its causes, how to treat it, how to manage it, why do they happen? So stay tuned for that. And also you'll see how we remove the tonsillar stone by simply picking at it and taking it out. It's unknown whether or not this hypothetical patient had halitosis or bad breath because being sick with a cold, I can't really smell my own breath. I mean, you know what I mean. So I don't know, but in this particular case, this tonsil lip has occurred because of chronic inflammation and an active infection of my throat, which I think it's viral. I don't have fevers or chills. I don't feel very sick, just congested and a sore throat. So simple treatment of uh, anti-inflammatories, some gargle washes, and of course, removal of the affecting agent, the stone itself. So what causes tonsil stones? Well, your tonsils are filled with nooks and crannies, little holes, where bacteria and other materials, including dead cells, mucus, can become trapped. When this happens, the debris can become concentrated in white formations that occur in the pockets. Tonsil stones or tonsil lists are formed when this trapped debris hardens or calcifies. They tend to happen most often in people who have chronic inflammation of the tonsils or repeated bouts of tonsillitis. While many people have small tonsils that develop in their tonsils, it is quite rare to have a large or solidified tonsil stones. What are the symptoms of tonsil stones? Well, many small tonsil stones do not cause any noticeable symptoms. Even when they are large, some tonsil stones are only discovered incidentally on x-rays and CT scans, but some larger tonsil lists, however, may have multiple symptoms, one of which is um, bad breath. One is the prime indicators of a tonsil stone is exceedingly bad breath or halitosis that accompanies the tonsil infection. Not really that the breath caused the stone, but that the breath is happening because an infection that caused the white cells and debris to accumulate, that infection caused the stone, and that's why there's bad breath. One study of patients with a form of chronic tonsillitis use a special test to see if volatile sulfur compounds were contained in the subject's breath. The presence of these foul-smelling compounds provides evidence of bad breath. The research has found that 75% of people who had abnormally high concentration of these compounds also had tonsil stones. Other researchers have suggested that tonsil stones may be considered in situations where the cause of bad breath is in question. Another symptom would be sore throat. When a tonsil stone and tonsillitis occur together, it can be difficult to determine whether the pain in your throat is caused by the stone or the infection itself. The presence of a tonsil stone by itself doesn't tell us what was first, the chicken or the egg. White debris. Some tonsil stones are visible in the back of your throat as a lump of solid white material. This is not always the case. Often they are hidden in the folds of the tonsil. You can't see them. In these instances, they might be only found by x-rays, CT scans, or even MRIs. One of the other symptoms is difficulty swallowing. Depending on the location or size of the tonsil stone, it may be difficult to or painful to swallow foods or liquids. Another symptom might be ear pain. A uh, tonsil stone can develop anywhere in the tonsil. And because the shared nerve pathways between the ear and the throat, you can have pain radiating to both. 
you can have tonsil swelling. When collected, debris hardens and the tonsil stone forms inflammation from the infection if present, and the tonsil stone itself may cause tonsil to swell or become larger in size. So how are tonsil stones treated? The appropriate treatment of tonsil stone depends on the size of the stone and how much pain or discomfort or how accessible the stone is. Most of the time, there's no treatment. Many tonsil stones, especially ones that have no symptoms, do not require any treatment. At home removal, some people choose to dislodge the stones at home with the use of picks or swabs, gargles, or flushing. Sometimes antibiotics. Various antibiotics can use to treat the tonsil stones. While they may be helpful for some people, they cannot correct the basic problem that is causing the tonsil stone. Also, antibiotics have side effects, and it will only work if you're treating the underlying infection. And it will treat the infection, but the tonsil is already solidified, so it's not like it's going to remove it. You still need to get that done. And then surgical removal. When tonsil stones are exceedingly large or symptomatic, it may be necessary for a surgeon or doctor to remove them. In certain instances, a doctor will be able to perform a relatively simple procedure using a local numbing agent, usually just a spray in the back of the throat. Uh, sometimes they do have to go in and cut if it's hidden inside. Can tonsil stones be prevented? Since tonsil stones are more common in people who have chronic tonsillitis, the only surefire way to prevent uh, them is with surgical removal of the tonsils. That way you cannot get them anymore. This procedure is known as tonsillectomy and it removes your tonsils entirely, therefore eliminating the possibility of tonsillolith formation. Unlike tonsil stone extraction, tonsillectomies are typically performed under general anesthesia. Patients who undergo the surgery have difficulty swallowing a sore throat for at least a few days after the procedure. Hey, I hope you enjoy this video that you learn a lot and uh, you want to watch more educational content like this video, go to patient education, the video or my website where I post everything I do, www.dr.er.tv. See you later. Bye.